end because men don't have the skills that are needed to be in these relationships like they have a skill deficit what is going on I have any effort to mm. I'm put some faces up on the screen and y'all can tell me if her answer changes still tired you guys forget why you get into these relationships especially women who get married how do you think you got that ring in the first place hey guys welcome back to more to life now i have one for you today it's a good one it's talking about why this is the reason why it's not talking about that but this is the reason why a lot of guys are leaving but before we get started guys i ask that you please like comment subscribe also be sure to click the notification bell to be sure that you get my videos as soon as i release them now let's get into this this is going to be a lady reacting to an article the rise of lonely men so this is all over social media talking about how there's a rise in lonely single men because relationship standards are increasing and because men don't have the skills that are needed to be in these relationships like they have a skill deficit what is going on and might i add that divorce rates are at a whopping 50 percent this is scary every couple i meet it's like i'm in the freaking hunger games like may the odds be ever in your favor like this is not fun but also, might I add, that studies have shown that the happiest women on earth are single, childless women, and the happiest men on earth are married men. Why, why is that? I want to get into it personally because I have studied relationships and people for over seven years, and I've been a therapist for two and a half years, and I love talking about this. So let's go. Well, this here can't be true, right? But she said the women that are single are happier? That doesn't make sense. I think... What she meant is the women are lying that are single because usually people that are single are not necessarily happier, right? But let me go. I'm, I'm going to review this video again and break it down. So this is all over social media talking about how there's a rise in lonely single men because relationship standards are increasing and because men don't have the skills that are needed to be in these relationships. Like they have a skill deficit. A skill deficit. See, what's happening is women like to do this is like a bashing technique here right think about it a skill deficit i don't think this is a problem what's happening actually is we have a debt crisis because you have so many women that are going to school and getting careers and things that really isn't a career right getting these liberal arts degrees and so she's bashing men she's trying to make it seem like she's not she says she's a therapist i can tell from the way her response is she doesn't necessarily care about men. Let's keep going. What is going on? And might I add that divorce rates are at a whopping 50%. This is scary. Every couple I meet, it's like I'm in the freaking Hunger Games. Like, may the odds be ever in your favor. Like, this is not fun. Yes, it's at 50% because women are divorcing men. See, what's happening is you have women, they hit their, they hit a certain age, they hit 40 or they hit 50, sometimes even 60. And they decide, you know what? I don't feel happy anymore. Then they get divorced and then their man is left hung out to dry. And then their man has said, you know what? I'm gonna go out to the Philippines. I'm gonna go out to another country and get a younger woman that appreciates me. Then you know what? He gets called a, a chauvinist. He gets called a, a predator. It, it's called a guy that takes advantage of younger women. I'm gonna make this super clear and I will not stutter. If you are a man, specifically a white man, who seeks out women from developing countries who are poor and vulnerable, you are a predator. He is called a, uh, a pedophile and all types of names, right? But he got left by his woman. But the, see, the thing is, that man, doesn't matter how old he is, because a man is a man. Woman age is completely different to the man aging. So that man can st will still be desirable. Like out in the Philippines, women usually want an older guy because they really can take care of themselves and take care of the woman as well. But not only that, you have younger guys that are like that as well that are going to the Philippines, going to Thailand. So the rise of lonely single men, I say to those guys that are lonely and single, and especially what you see right here behind her head that says dating apps, right? I say all you guys. You lonely and single, pack up your bags, save up your money. If you're a guy that can't retire yet, 
work on your skills, you know, have skills that translates to working online, like sales, you know, um, IT, many different skills online. You look them up, even customer service you can do online, right? Pretty much anybody can pick up and say, you know what, I'm gonna leave because right now in the West, this is crazy. Then this woman's a therapist. Then you have another another therapist woman I seen that was uh, calling guys out. It's crazy to a therapist woman. She's not necessarily doing that, but she doesn't realize her tone it's kind of insinuating what's what is going on let's keep going women on earth are single childless women and the happiest men on earth are married men why why is that i want to get into it personally because i have studied relationships and people for over seven years and i've been a therapist for two and a half years and i love talking about this so let's go yeah so guys that's what it is but i say for you guys out there man i'm not going to tear her up because she's just you know trying to do her thing on tiktok but uh you guys see what I'm saying, right? You can see a little bit of trying to bash in there, you know, trying to shame men. But anyway, guys, I got another one for you. Let me hop right into this one. This one here is going to be a woman talking to a guy about, you know, they should have women and men should have four to five times a week. And it's true because that's how it is in my home. But anyway, let's keep going. Oh, why we can't have sex? I just, I don't have any effort to... I'm gonna put some faces up on the screen and y'all can tell me if her answer changes. Still tired? Wait, wait, are y'all still tired? Hmm? Huh? Are you really tired or are you just really not attracted to your partner? Well, the story is, you guys forget why you get into these relationships. Especially women who get married. How do you think you got that ring in the first place? I've been a little freaky deek. When you guys made these excuses like, oh, I'm just tired from being a mother. Understand, there's a grace period in being exhausted after having kids. But do y'all know how many other women, specific Spanish women, them things snap back. How many Spanish friends I have? Beat that statistic. You got girls out there from Venezuela and Colombia doing that thing thing. Snapping back after babies because they know what it takes to hold down a man. I'm just being purely honest. If you don't like your man, just say that. But don't say that you're too tired or you're exhausted. Just say you're comfortable. Just say that you don't feel like there's a chase anymore. Give you my example. I guarantee you, you won't be that tired no more. Yeah, she's right. She's one million percent right. You know, say if you've seen these guys that you desired, would you still be tired? I don't think so. Women use that excuse, and she's right, especially married women. How are you going to keep your husband? How are you going to keep your husband happy? How are you going to keep your husband from not going outside? Okay. This here is just not acceptable any longer. Guys shouldn't accept this. You know, I mean, woman saying, I don't feel, I don't feel like it, or, and it's happening on a regular basis. Like, what are you getting married for? There's so many guys who talk about this. There's so many guys that are coaches on this stuff because it's really that bad. And then not only that, you know, the God has gotten out of marriages. God is not in a marriage anymore. And then people are getting divorced and you can't even go to the church to say, hey man, this is my problem because the church panders to the woman, right? Because there's more single women in the church because what are they doing? They're not giving a man sex and getting divorced. Oh, you know, he doesn't make me happy anymore, right? And, and she's one million percent right. If that was this person, this person, that person, then it's different. And men are tired of this. Men are tired of this, but men, men are not speaking about it anymore. You know what men are doing? Getting their passports, heading down to the passport office and saying, you know what? I'm done. I've been out for seven years, okay? Best thing I could have ever done. Best thing I could have ever done. And as I said in the beginning of the video, especially for you guys that are lonely, I suggest the same thing for you. You know, that's why I'm gonna start doing videos about the dangers, dangers that happen in these other country, videos about, you know, you guys already know how the woman is, but about the dangers, about the things to look out for, you know, because some guys that are leaving don't really understand what happens. Really don't understand. Cause like she's like you said, the rise of lonely single men, men not having the skills. That's not men not having the skills. I think a lot of times men don't have the relationship skills. Men don't have any game at all. And going out of the country, you don't need game, but you need to understand life. You need to understand your, your surroundings and you need to be aware. So I think guys need to know 
certain things so they know what to look out for. Not to be paranoid, but to make sure they're on top of their game. But guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I don't know what's going on with women thinking to keep away from their man and bashing lonely men. But all I know is this. There's definitely more to life than this.